I'm really far too lazy at the moment to lift my arm any higher to get a better angle on this, so deal. Today is Sunday, and I am sitting here wrapped up in my usual outfit, plus my hoodie, plus my capelet, plus Richard's leather cloak, and this guy just told me that I look very warm, or like I'm about to fight crime. Here comes the doctor. Here comes the parade, everyone is waiting. There's a couple of people in my way, so I can't get a, a good long view like yesterday. to hold it and wave at people. Let's wave, Cameron. Let's go, the pirates! Oh, goodness. Oh, oh hi, Maya. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera, so people who are taller or shorter, I wasn't adjusting. Oh, oh, and the queen is coming later. I don't think they do! Here's the rest of the parade, it isn't over yet. Alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh, cry, cock, 
buckles and muscles Alive, alive, oh Alive, alive, oh There you go. Magic ones. Brilliant. So I'm exploring the fair a bit for the last 45 to 50 minutes that I have before they all close. And there's this. I went to this great stand. I walked up to it because they had advertised that they had Norse things, Celtic things, Egyptian things etc. And so I thought, hmm, okay, so I walked in. First thing, a woman asked me, are you wearing anything in your ears today? And I said, no. She said, why not? And I explained how one of my earring holes is closed and blah, blah, blah. And she showed me some of her jewelry and I said, I'm going to show you one with a pentacle on it because I noticed that you're wearing one. Do you practice? I said, yes, I do. And then she said, oh, okay, here, I'll show this to you. And then the other owner or the other person working there, same thing, came up to me and said, hello there, I notice you're wearing a particular symbol, do you practice? And I said yes, and she said, that's great. And she started asking me uh, what books I've been reading. I said, currently I'm reading a, a book by Starhawk, and she said, oh, Starhawk's really good to start with, blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh, I'm not starting with her, I've been practicing for over a decade now. And she said, oh, okay, that's great. And I said, I started with Cunningham, and she said, oh, me too. So, people don't realize how old I am, number one. Uh, so they thought that I was just beginning to practice, which was interesting. But I talked to them for a while, they're really nice ladies. And they have some great stuff, even though I don't want to buy anything particularly at the moment. So, I'm going to go back and visit them next weekend. The one I was talking to about books said that she could recommend some other really good ones for me, etc, etc. Save me the time of reading all the bad ones. And I said, well, it's been about ten years now, so all the things that I've read Maybe some of the things you would advise to skip, but I read things anyway, even though they are. I read things because other people have opinions on them so that I can have an informed opinion. Anyway, I'm going to go back and visit them. I also saw my friend. She has a stand here, the crystal stand that I buy things from at Great Lakes Medieval Fair. They also have a stand here. Visited them. Stopped and talked to a woman who makes her own witchy hats, which are adorable. She doesn't sell them, but she wears them here. and She's a musician. And Dragon's Head Forge. Other friends of mine are here. More work. Add <laughs> to the work. Blacksmiths never stop work. So, they're other friends of mine from Great Lakes. I think those are the only vendors that are here. Oh no, there's also a stand that sells musical instruments that's also at Great Lakes and they are here as well. All of the rest of these stands are new to me. I don't recognize them from Great Lakes. This fair is much bigger than the other one and I get lost. It's a lot less like a village whereas Great Lakes looks like a small town. This one as you can see is long long lanes. It's kind of a racetrack is how it's been described to me. It's a big loop around the outside and here are some cut throughs through the middle. 
So I don't want to cut through there because it'll take me halfway around. These skirts are really popular at this fair. This place also looks really interesting, Wolf's Moon Apothecary, so I'm going to go in and see them. There's a little booth that does tarot readings and they sell tarot cards. This man's hat is wonderful. Yeah, so lots of stuff. There's several different gypsy stores too. That's a cool stage. Oh, this booth looks amazing. Paintings and stained glass. Can I just, can I, can my house look like this? Or can I have a, a green house like this? Something, it's amazing. Well, and then we're back at the castle I showed you yesterday. Loyal clown jewels, as opposed to the royal crown jewels. Games and games and games and games and games and games. Okay, now we're almost back to the stand. King's Nuts. Oh, this thing is called the witch, something about a witch, oh, witch hat slip. Just because of that, that's just because of the shape of the thing. Man-powered rides. Oh, Sadie's Soap, they're from Great Lakes too. They're friends from Great Lakes. And then there's this. And this is the bridge where we were, but Richard Captain John Stout is now at Pub Sing, which the pub is over there. Can't see anything. Oh, and this is the stand where he bought my mug. I want to go look at their tea. Standing stones. Since this is my first time at this fair, I don't really know when it ends, but I knew it was soon, so I wanted to hurry. Um, but let me just tell you, yeah, not a good idea to go into this stand with something of theirs that you've previously purchased because they thought this is what I was buying this time around and you're smudgy again. Hold on. So I got their Green Witch's Brew. The regular Witch's Brew is a black tea, but this one is a green tea. It's green tea with cinnamon, apple, calendula, and rose petals, and nutmeg. Queen's base. We're playing soccer. On the chessboard! That's the end of the day today, so I think I'll just wrap this up for now because we're going to be packing up and heading home. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and until then, don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye.